How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. Today, today is Samwise the Stark Hounded again. Uh, and land destruction. I tried to build a land destruction deck around him. It didn't work. Uh, so we're trying again. Uh, and did we learn anything from our last attempt? No. But, uh, you know, is it necessary to always learn from your mistakes? I don't know. Uh, pass the turn. Next turn, we can uh, get a one drop. We might actually have a one drop, so I will do it. We didn't, it was too optimistic. Fair enough. We just need a good blocker too. Sunfall will actually be clutch here. Why is everything hex? Oh, shall I? I know that makes sense. That is her primary function after all. My brave, brave boys. Adios. You were very cool. So I think we just follow the thread? Try to beat down with a 7-7? Seven, seven? Sunfall into Follow the Thran is actually uh, kind of legit synergy, isn't it? We are winning the race. Look at us. Do we just go smothering ties? I think we just go smothering ties. Hmm. Not sure that's the plan upon it. But eh, whatever. We will just win the race. <laughs> Our opponent has given up. I do not blame them. There was a lot of damage going on there. Um, mainly in the land department. actually turned out okay. I think it's just the, the cards we drew at that particular matchup, but like maybe, maybe it's actually functional and I just built it wrong the first time. So the ideal is that you have things like Ghost Quarter, Demolition Zone, uh, Field of Ruin, and you Field of Ruin your opponent, you Samwise, you Field of Ruin them. You block with Samwise, repeat the process. Like that's the plan. What is that? I threw a uh, old, the evangelical, the guardian evangelical in the deck because uh, I realized in a recent game that it's a pretty decent win condition actually, like it's reasonable, and it's more than you can say for a lot of win conditions. A uh, we don't want to play our even mind sensor. We'll actually just continue to build up towards Farewell. We can flash, though.
the end of our opponent's turn, we'll flash in a Sam if we need to. I had one more mana. If I had one more mana. Opponent. We'll ramp with Owl for now. Owl. Uh, pass the turn. I wanted to play more creatures. They're just a little bit too mana screwed to actually achieve that goal. You. Look at the top seven. Uh, got some bugs. Some crazy stuff. I guess we'll just cry because it's gonna die. Yeah, I'll take the lands. Hmm. Creatures graveyards? Opponent. Neat, neat stuff, I know. Did I put both of those lands on top? I did. I think. Or did I put one on bottom? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Uh, Aven Mind Sensor. He's a neat old boy, oh. And uh, we'll pass the turn. Block two damage. Block one damage. Uh, and then Sam. Uh, how much? Four. Can I produce four mana? I can. I think I can do this opponent. I think I can do it. All right, we've dealt with a problem. Only to find another one. Some neat stuff opponent. I wish it were slightly less neat, if I'm being completely honest. Deal with another problem. Uh, and then you tap that. You tap that. Uh, how much mana can I produce? I can produce one, two, or three. So I guess so we have four evangels as blockers. They're not going to block a big trampoly haste threat. 
but I don't know if there are any of those left. That will be a problem. It's trampoline, not haste. Okay, good, good to know. Gonna kill my ECD? Don't really have anything in there I care about. Hmm. Doesn't work, unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'm not tapping Bruno. We have massively outmanned our opponent. Yeah, maybe I should have just tapped her. You know, they were always going to fight her. There's no reason not to, right? But Sam is actually really good at blocking. He is really good at blocking. So what's going to happen is the Sigardian Evangel crew and Sam are going to take the hit. And then uh, uh, Sam's going to get an Evangel back to our hand so that we can drastically increase our Evangel party. Neat stuff, opponent. Neat, neat stuff. Big trampling is a problem, though. Actually, Titan of Industry is a problem. Rude stuff, bro. We might actually just be dead. Uh, so that's six. It's way too much overkill, but we can only afford to take one damage. I was supposed to tap the Nick Shrine while I still the Devotion so that I could uh, actually uh, actually pay for my commander <laughs> to restart the process, but it did not work out that way. We're going to game three. This has been a short one. Our last two were also kind of short. They were between 15 to 20 minutes, which is short for us, relatively speaking. Uh, I like it. I like it. I will keep. 
They were Paragon, lets the party continue. Myria is just a good extra land to have. Vindicator, he's there in case things get dicey. Like, there's a lot to like about this. I have a commander opponent. Fear him. Uh, Relic of Legends? Kind of neat. I was going to go with Realmbreaker, but Relic is probably just better. Invasion. It isn't exactly two colors. Well, Prosper. Aren't you just special? Five five for four mana. Completely fair. A invasion of Ravnica can actually deal with that. That's good. I will take the two damage. I will also invade Ravnica. Just so you know. And I will have another 5-5. Five five. I can't use this one because I can't have exactly two color spells, but it's just decent exile based removal. Hmm. Opponent. No Prosper Swing. Kind of sad. Let me just grab another flyer. Get down our invasion tree. Go back Paragon. Go take some life off of him. Still not enough opponent. Although I guess maybe they just needed the sixth mana for something, the seventh mana for something. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Bruno, go get me back a Paragon. Prosper's attacking. We will not block. Mm. I think they're looking for removal spells, uh, but they didn't find it. Well, they found one eventually. Gilded Lotus and uh, continue wrapping. Oh, I don't have any of those, so yeah, not the right colors for my deck. I guess there's a benefit of the uh of the Riveteers of the Outlook cycle. don't know if they're even all called Outlooks. That was a bit of a new Capenna problem, right? Uh, the uh, Because they were all separate gangs and doing separate things, none of the none of the cycles were standardized with a singular naming convention. A Elishnorn. Mother of Machines. Uh, don't 
Each is your turn. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll discard that. Nothing to see here, opponent. Beginning of your end step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Neat, neat stuff. Neat, neat stuff, opponent. I love it. Love to see it. Mel de Bruno. What do you think of that opponent? Rude. Uh, that one. That one. I needed that for stuff and things. stuff and things. I will remeld that at some point, opponent. You can't stop this. Oh, cancel. Let's try that out. I definitely have more Elish Norms. A whole party. A team, some would say. Yeah, negative one power doesn't do anything. We just gotta get rid of a ghost, uh, a ghost counter or a ghost form. Rude stuff, opponent. Still several Elish Norns to worry about. You know, when I built this deck, I thought to myself, it's going to be hard to uh, to close out the game, but I forgot that uh, that Realm Breaker is kind of, kind of a win condition and a ramp piece. Like, what more could you ask for? And then we'll leave up Sam so that if one of our Elish Norns goes away, uh, we can just recast it. Neat, neat stuff. I say this is this is a good prosper deck. Opponent, you uh, you do better than me when I try this stuff. Like hit it too good. I knew I should have put a hit it too good in there. I don't even know if I own it. I probably do. Uh, because it feels like I've built a Brawl deck around it. Because it's kind of a cool and unique abilities uh, attached to it. But I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, the just sheer amount of collection on Arena these days is a little overwhelming. And it's nice that they consolidated some cards into like single slots. 
so that you can um, expand your 12 duresses into a full page if you want to but uh, no no that's an answer don't try it opponent Not really an answer either, I suppose, because what will happen if they play the boy, uh, sure, what are you casting upon? You have to cast a Phyrexian if you want to live. That is a Phyrexian. Uh, it doesn't let you live, though. I lied. I'm sorry. That dies immediately. Should have had negative two power, not negative one. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not here to correct Arena. I had fun. This is the fourth time today that Arena has asked me if I had fun. Um, they're very nosy. Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.